fitting the VAST model. As you recall from slide 22 of our class slides, uh, the VAST model is fit by regression methods. It's a multiple regression in which you regress the sales at time t. That's not the cumulative sales, but the actual per period sales at time t on two independent or regressor or explanatory variables. One is the cumulative sales at time t minus 1, so that's the cumulative sales up to the previous period. So if we're in the first quarter of 2013, yt minus 1 would be the cumulative sales up to the last quarter of 2012. And, and then the, um, the next regressor is the cumulative sales squared. So this is a regression of sales at time t on cumulative sales at time t minus 1 and cumulative sales at time t minus 1 squared with coefficients a is the intercept, b is the slope on cumulative sales, and c is the slope on cumulative sales squared. Given that you fit the regression, you get take a, b, and c, of course, and combine them in these three formulas, first to create m on the basis of a, b, and c, and then to create uh, the coefficient of innovation p, remember that's a probability between 0 and 1, as a divided by m, and then finally to um, create the coefficient q, this is b plus p, actually. Um, so that can be done any, in any regression package. Um, so typically people like to, run, like to run regressions in Excel, and if you have the Windows version of Excel, you're fine. You can just simply use the analysis tool pack add-in, select the, create the appropriate cumulative sales columns, um, and uh, run that regression. Uh, and then utilize the coefficient estimates from it to, to, to compute M, P, and Q. Now, un unfortunately, if you have the Windows version of Excel, you don't have the analysis tool pack available to you. Uh, excuse me, did I say Windows, Macintosh version of Excel? And you need to find an add-in. There's one, I think, called Stat Pro you can use. Um, but um, what I'm going to show you in this little video is how to use R to compute these. R is the premier uh, analytics uh, and statistics package used in the in, in today worldwide. Um, and most companies that are heavy in analytical skills utilize R. They don't use Excel for regressions uh, for a variety of reasons. Excel is not very powerful. Um, the Excel regression met methods implementation regression has actually got mistakes in it uh, and is very numerically unstable. So it's probably better to run these things in R. Um, although, um, again, this is purely optional material. If you're not interested in R, uh, you could probably turn this video off at this point in time. So I'm just going to show you how to use R to do that. So let's switch to the R screen. So one of the most useful ways of using R is through a add uh, a a program development environment called RStudio. If you just Google RStudio, download it, download R. They're all free. They all run on all computers um, for free. Um, so you can get this. So uh, let's just, what I'm going to just do is read in the data, which is just a very simple column of numbers in this case, from this file called iPhone underscore sales. So I'm just going to highlight this line. This is a text file or script called FitBass Model. I'll also provide that on our course website. Let's read it in. So we've read it in now. It's created this thing called iPhone data, which is just, let's take a look at what it's in. It's just the sales data from the first quarter to, uh, excuse me, third quarter 2007, all the way through, I believe, the most recent quarter, of, uh, which is the first quarter of uh, 13. Okay, um, so I'm going to now create the sales, extract the sales data from that and create an, uh, a, a variable called sales. And sales is a special type of variable in R, which is a time series. So it understands that it started in 2007, it's quarterly data, and it started in the third quarter of 2007. So whenever I plot it, it'll have the appropriate uh, time axis. So let's plot the data. And I like to plot the data, and I like to cr connect dots with red lines and paint the dots in blue which is what I'm doing here. So you see over here, down in, in this quarter, uh, this panel rather, uh, is the, the, the raw sales data, okay? Um, now, in order to run the regression, I'm gonna have to create cumulative sales, and I'm gonna have to um, uh, make sure that the cumulative sales is lagged one period. So first, let me accumulate the sales. Here's the accumulated sales. And we can plot that if we'd like. 
So now we have cumulative sales, which looks, of course, a lot more, a uh, lot smoother. Um, the Bass regression is essentially fitting the the, the um, path of cumulative sales. So in order to run the Bass regression, it's very simple in R. There's only one little trick, which is that I need to create lagged cumulative sales. So I can't just use cumulative sales and cumulative sales squared in the regression. I'm going to have to uh, to lag it so that, in other words, what is at time period t for cumulative sales is actually cumulative sales up to t minus 1. And I'm doing that here by creating a new variable called y, which is just simply that, and then squaring it. So now I will do that. So I'm going to create y and y squared. Uh, now they're available. And I'm going to simply regress sales on y and y squared. So instead of selecting columns out of a spreadsheet, you simply just write the variable names. This is a command called LM, which, is, which stands for linear model. It does a lot of very, very advanced things, as well as just run regressions. But suffice it to say, I'm just going to use it for its ability to run regressions. So I'm going to simply um, run the regression, store the output of that regression and out, and retrieve the relevant coefficients, A, B, and C. And then, then compute the things that I need to do, like M, P, and Q. So I'm just going to execute all these commands in one fell swoop, simply running the regression, extracting the coefficients, and then computing m, p, and q. Okay, let's run that. And now I'm going to plot it, plot the, the fitted vast model. So you can see here I now have m, which is uh, 829 million, p, the coefficient of evasion is 0 0.001, and q, the coefficient of imitation at 0.21 or 2105. So now I'm just going to plot the fitted model and the, um, the actual cumulative sales. And I've written a function in R called BAS model to compute that. So you just give it P, Q, and M and how many time periods you want, and it'll roll the sales forward to create the predicted sales from the BAS model. So let me do that. I'm just going to execute that in one command here create the, uh, execute the function, create the function, and then run the sale, run the, um, run the, uh, compute the predictive sales. That's what I've done here. Let's run that. Okay. Now, spread is predicted sales. Okay. Um, I'm going to plot both actual and predicted on the same plot. And uh, R has a, a function to do that called time series plot, ts.plot. And I'm going to give it those two series and plot them. So now I've plotted uh, sales um, predicted out of the BAS model, that's the fitted sales in this red line, and the actual sales is this blue, somewhat more jagged line, which of course represents things like seasonal effects and introduction of new models, which are not part of the BAS model. Okay, um, Okay. so now I'm also going to run this forward um, and look at cumulative sales so I'm going to predict out uh, some periods in the future and compute cumulative sales. So let me rerun the BAS model, but I'll run it for 100 periods forward, 100 quarters forward. Um, and then I will accumulate the predicted and actual sales and plot those. And this creates what, what you've seen in the class notes. So here, here is the predicted sales, um, which is in uh, red and the actual cumulative sales, which is in uh, blue. And you can see that this, basically the BAS model predicts that um, iPhone sales will peak somewhere around 2015 and start declining to very, very, very rapidly to near zero there afterwards. And having a cumulative lifetime product sales of 800, a little more than 800 million, which is really quite a remarkable new product. Uh, anyway, so I hope that's found you found that useful. Again, it's optional material for those people who want to learn how to do these analytical things in R. Um, R is free and, and very widely used. So I hope that provides everyone with an incentive to learn R. Anyway, um, bye for now.